Well, I wanted to take you on a little walk today because my property is going to look a lot different after this week. I got uh, an excavator here. I don't know if you can see it. We'll walk down there. But uh, what they're going to be doing is making my pond, and I've talked about this in previous videos, but they're going to make the pond double the size. And we'll walk down and I'll show you what I mean. But uh, as you can see, there's there's the pond there. It's probably a half an acre. Now, nah, maybe half an acre or so, I would say, give or take. All these trees here are all gonna be gone. This is gonna be regraded. Uh, the whole thing started because, you know, there's a lot of gullies and stuff down there that uh, wasn't real safe to be bush hogging in. And so I thought, well, what if I just flood this and make it all pond? So that was what I went with. Uh, probably a whole lot safer. I've marked a couple trees that are going to be gone because uh, all those trees are going to be gone, but this one here too. But everything's going to be just a whole lot more contour to where it's, you know, safer to, to uh, uh, bush hog around it and everything. And uh, so here's the excavator. He's going to go in and he can just pluck things out. He can scrape. I'm actually going to have him on the other side of the, of, uh, the fence line over there. He's going to go along and there's limbs that are overhanging really high up. He's going to go up and clip them off. Just pull them right off. It's perfect. Uh, so, this, I know you can't really tell the, the, uh, the grade of this and how far, uh, kind of the, 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 the terrain very well. But I got this creek running through the middle here, which is, is going to be encompassed in the uh, pond. And right here, uh, from here, clear across there, is all going to be a levee. And that's going to that's going to create the uh, the uh, the buildup of the pond. So we'll be walking across, and it's going to be a levee that you can walk across or drive across. So, um, okay, there's Mr. Excavator. He's going to do some mean work this week. <laughs> I'm going to try and get some footage of that too. Uh, maybe some drone footage even. Yeah, there's a couple little deer. See them? You guys are going to have a a lot more water to drink. <laughs> so, yeah, all this shrubbery and stuff will be gone. Um, I've mulched a couple trees. We'll head up to my lavender field. But all this essentially will be underwater. Um, here's, here's the creek. He's going to pull this culvert out, repurpose it. But see all that creek there will be underwater and the water line will come up to he marked a flag out here there goes the deer <laughs> a full white tail that tree right there will kind of be the uh, the farthest most point uh, up the hill that'll be water so everything kind of uh, from that tree on over, all this to this yellow flag will be the water line. And then, of course, the levee will be this way. Uh, he's also gonna clean up some stuff. I wanted these trees removed because uh, I'm gonna bring my lavender, probably either my lavender or some flowers or some sort of vegetation anyway out to here and there's a lot of old stumps stuff it just needs to be cleaned up um, like this thing just rolled away um, so this will be my road that will continue but it'll kind of meet with the levee here so yeah it's 
it's gonna be beautiful. Um, all these trees will stay because they're kind of young and uh, good. some good oaks. Eventually they'll turn into some big white and red oaks, um, but they're really young. So all this will be water. Look back at the, uh, the, the, the rentals back there and uh, it'll be beautiful. So I was gonna try and get some good footage of it. Uh, and uh, make sure this was kind of the whole reason, one of the reasons why I started this videotaping thing because I wanted to get good footage of this and I wanted to remember it and everything and see how the progress went. So I'm uh, really excited. I'm excited to not have to deal with bush hogging as much, especially down in this lower area. It's just treacherous. So, uh, I'll show you more as we go along. I wanted to uh, get you a different angle from uh, the existing pond on down so you can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about. Now this pond's been here for, oh, probably at least 15 years. I've owned it since 2012, so that's 12 years. And I think the guy who sold me the farm actually uh, dug this out. So, so what we have here is the existing levee. Um, and uh, he's going to, I believe, cut an area over there on the, on the far side of this levee to let some of the water go in here. Uh, but I think he's gonna do that at the very end. He's gonna go ahead and dig all this first. See, all this, all this garbage will be underwater. Um, and actually there's a, uh, there's a, another flag he did. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure exactly how it's all gonna lay, but all this will be taken out nice and flat well, kind of a steady grade down into the pond, kind of like this is here. Um, I know the pond's kind of low. We haven't had a whole lot of rain here. We've got these nice lily pads growing. But I stopped this about, oh, 10 years ago with uh, brim and some bass and a few other things. Uh, but uh, good, uh, good fishing in here caught a lot of good bass in here so anyway just wanted to give you the lay of the land it's gonna be really beautiful I had bees last year and uh, I think I've mentioned this in a prior video but uh, it's actually my friend's beehive and the swarm left but uh, I'm gonna ratchet it up next year once all this works done I'm gonna use this it, this hive and probably get one or two more and uh, see if I can't get some honey. I really think it'll be good for the pollination of the uh, lavender and other flowers and stuff like that. So I may have to move it. I don't know. I know they like to be close to a water source. Bees do. Um, so it, it, it is kind of a good spot because it's all kind of on a, on a perch too. A higher on higher ground but uh, I don't know uh, it's really nice and it's close to my road so maybe why will I will keep it there but anyway that's one thing that's uh, you're gonna see in the future is is more bee bee stuff I'm gonna really ratchet it up because I love honey um, I like seeing what I can do with beeswax um, but mainly it's just the honey I love local honey so Anyway, wanted to tell you a little bit about the bees too and uh, the future of those. Talk to you soon. Thanks. <laughs>